Welcome to episode 848 of Apartment Hacker. This is Mike Bruni at Apartment Hacker. So my mission to tease out human potential in the multifamily space. So let's talk about, we just talked about um, high standards and deep devotion in our last episode. So I wanted to talk about tough love in this episode. And many times we we hear that phrase, right? Tough love. Or we need to give some someone some tough love. Um, what I think is a more fruitful way to think about tough love is uh, to think about it in two in the two words that make up that phrase. So, being tough and being full of love when you're being tough. So it's tough and love, not tough love, um, that I think moves your organization forward. You could translate that very easily to holding people accountable. You could translate translate it rather uh, pretty easily to being accountable or holding people accountable. Um, and it applies just as much to you as an individual, as a leader, as a manager, as it does to the person who is uh, reporting up to you, so to speak. So tough and love in organizations, uh, at least by my estimation, uh, having read about literally hundreds and hundreds of companies who uh, attempt to hold people accountable or attempt to hold high standard or attempt to sustain their business over long bits of time that just fail miserably on this point or fail to some extent on this point. And I think the confusion comes in the way of expressing uh, the phrase as tough love as opposed to exercising tough, uh, meaning a high standard or uh, and rather a love, meaning a deep devotion, not only for the organization itself, because you want it to sustain over time, whether it be ego driven or it be, <laughs> or it be driven by uh, a higher desire to fulfill something bigger than self. Um, I think holding, uh, holding people accountable in an environment that is baked and full of love uh, love, obviously, in the right sense, not in the intimate sense that gets you in trouble with the, an HR department, because <laughs> that's a real thing to you. Um, but having a high standard and a deep devotion and a, a deep-seated love toward uh, individual, toward self, and, and toward uh, being a part of something bigger than self is important in organizations, and it needs to be uh, more clearly articulated. And, uh, we We need to become very much comfortable with using the word love in an organization in the right and proper sense and the right and proper definition of the word love, love meaning deep devotion. Um, we need to become more comfortable with that. We need to become more comfortable with tough and love, uh, high standards, accountability, candor, uh, speaking freely, uh, speaking in love of other people, in service of other people, um, being comfortable in uh, the moment of truth, having uh, crucial conversations in moments of truth. When you catch your kid putting his hand in the cookie jar right before dinner, you got to address the issue right then, in that moment, not two months removed, when your child doesn't even remember that he put his hand in the cookie jar right before dinner. You get to do it in that moment of truth uh, and be willing to have the courageous conversation, be willing to do tough and love, right? Here's my standard and here's why that's important. Um, so get comfortable. Encouragement to you today, tonight. Get comfortable with tough and love and exercise more of it in your organization. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon.